Back at it once again, Sporty's Mobile Detailing. Another good day, especially since it is the winter, still. Gotta take advantage of those days you can for me, as long as it's above 32 degrees or better. I'ma pull it, I'ma go out and try to make some money because people want the cars done at all times. They're not even thinking about the weather. But in this one, this will be a double appointment in the senior citizen community that I've been with for over five years. They've helped me out a whole lot in my beginnings. Once you do a good job, your name gets around real fast. They put it in the clubhouse if they got one in the subdivision and it's all she wrote. You continue to do a good job beat prices and do good work. As you can see with the house, typical mixtures, making it real easy. No, I don't have some four gallon per minute pressure washer, eight gallons per minute, nah, I don't. Harbor Freight, two point something does the job of course it was optimal weather today but I've learned this a couple years ago my mentor taught me gave me that perfect house tip I needed and turned the weakest pressure washer into a cannon now if I did this full time houses I would definitely step it up 4 gallons per minute 8 gallons per minute it would make the job very easy and more efficient you can make more money because you can get done more faster but for now I do a lot of houses on occasion and it's great money I must say my mentor said once he got more houses he stopped detailing which I completely understand because it's a lot of money in it and especially places like this, they're subdivisions. You get letters in the mail, stating you gotta get the mold off your house or you're gonna get a fine. I mean, I'm pretty sure some subdivisions, if not all subdivisions, have rules that you must abide by to keep the neighborhood looking good, the values looking good, to outsiders and everything. Mold is something that's gonna come every two years. So there's no way around it. It's gonna happen to people with homes as far as on the outside and the side. And doing a car at the same time. Got my worker in the car. He's pretty good at the interior, so he's taking care of that. I can trust he'll do good with that. I'm just getting the house done, which you've just seen me finish the first round. Just letting the chemicals sit. But moving on to the car, little by little, catching up with him, seeing how he's doing, checking over his work, letting him finish if need be while I prepare for the outside, get the little basic things out the way, the rinse, the rims, the tires, the buckets, just getting everything ready getting a little assistance with the outside and then pretty much he's gonna rent the house which he has done before so I've had him for a few years now when he was 17 in high school now he's 20 been working with me for a while he understands the concepts the task the steps He's done a lot of work. He can make it through a long day, which we have planned today. A few appointments lined up that I'm gonna let everyone in on. At 
this point, I'm good. I can drive the car, get it ready for the waxing. Steam a few pieces of the seats on the inside while I'm letting him rinse. He knows to go side by side each and every piece of siding to take his time, no rush. Also, we got plenty of water. I am, or I did use the water tank, a hundred gallon one. To get the chemicals on, what you saw me dragging was a 15 gallon chemical mixture that I can just drag around, strap it down, harbor freight, you know the deal. Downstream it, you never want it going through your pressure washer. The job is real easy. No fancy equipment. And a lot of money. Good money. Especially with houses. Because the neighbors want to jump right on. And you definitely got to have competitive prices. That makes a big deal because... Houses charge a lot, but you don't have to charge everybody but so much. Just know what your competition's doing. Came out real good. I'd say the house and the car took maximum maybe two and a half, three hours. Everything came out just fine. The car came out great. Like I said, 55 and older senior citizen community, they take care of their things. They're not using their cars. You have to give them good discounts. You don't get over on them like most people do. It'll get around fast. They're loyal customers. They take care of their things and they're consistent. And if you do one good job, the neighborhood definitely gonna know and they're gonna use you right after this we're on to Philly a race against the light again you definitely have plenty of time it's only an interior near University of Penn for those of you who are familiar with Penn Relays that's right around the corner. Ran a few of those in high school and college. Hurdles to be specific. Not a big fan of detailing in Philly. Some customers fail to realize you need a spot for your vehicle too. So that just takes time to look for a spot driving around. Might not have a licensed driver. People in Philadelphia are very picky about their parking spaces and don't play those games sometimes, depending on where you're located. As you can see real quick, getting the smoke out of someone's car, sits in the headliners in the vents, the steam comes in real handy. Especially with the compressed air. Never want to get too close with the steamer, ever. That'll loosen up the glue in the headliner, tear up electronics. Definitely want to have some practice with it, but it's great. Disinfects, cleans, does a great job. The PSI, the steam, gets things clean fast, loosens it up. This is a pretty easy job. The steam made it easier since there was some smoke in the roof coming off on the tiles a little bit. Wasn't as bad, but whoever he let borrow his car was definitely smoking in there. Now it's nighttime. Cinnamon to New Jersey. Last appointment. Usually it's seven dump trucks. This time it's three. Nothing about this is difficult at all. The owner wants the mud off, wants them looking okay, just acceptable. No need to use aluminum brighteners and heavy degreasers. 
nothing of that sort. He just wants to chunk some muds off. In this situation, soon, when more contracts like this come, I'll definitely invest in a heated pressure washer because it'll loosen up that mud, knock it out real quick. Would like to have a longer wand, which may need to order that real soon. Another contract I was fortunate to come upon. I had spoke about this in a, another video where once I was able to get that box truck, he didn't hesitate to give me this job. And I was thankful for that. And when I got this box truck at the same time I got the job, a week later I was doing 24 buses in Franklin Township, New Jersey or Township of Franklin. Thanks again. More videos to come. Please subscribe. Thank you.